everybody welcome or welcome back to a uh, baking video christmas edition featuring dissociative identity disorder dissociation overall confusion and our fiance who's gonna be a little audience and help she's gonna sit close to us um she's going to do her thing but uh sometimes we like to space out or be just completely confused which we have already been uh, filming the intro and I'm just staring off into space being confused. Um, Hello. And our cat who looks okay. very very happy being... <laughs> being you have up. to do the video intro. Hello. Okay. Um, we're not gonna do cookies today. We are going to do crunchy Christmas granola which is kind of like cereal. I think it's the best way to explain it. Um, yeah. By the way, right now I'm Isa. Isa is fronting right now. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Did I mention that? No. no. Okay. So, yeah. I will shortly show you the recipe of what we're gonna do. It's in German though, so if you can't read German, you can either look at it and be very confused or if you're German you can read it and be like that kind of sounds okay we're gonna do it a little differently than it's written on this um, or you're just trying to translate certain words into English or uh, whatever language you're speaking. arranged all the things we need in theory. The first step is to uh, heat the oven, but I'm not gonna do that because there are a few things that you have to prepare which I have not prepared yet. For example, we need a cut pecan or walnuts, which we are do walnuts. Uh, and almonds because we don't have pecan nuts and I don't really like them anyway. So we're gonna do a mixture between almonds and walnuts. And you're gonna see this sped up addition of us cutting nuts into little pieces. Yeah, and I'm already feeling that another author is close because that's not the way I talk, that's yeah, the that's the true way to talk. <laughs> yeah. The white drew appears. 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 Hello. I throw a pokeball at you. Uh, white drew escaped the pokeball. Oh, no. Pokemon. Pokemon. She is playing Pokemon mm. while we are baking. I don't even know what we're baking. We made granola. Crunchy Christmas granola. No. Can I eat it? No. Good buddy. <laughs> 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 I wanted to talk about something in this video 
as well. But I forgot. I thought about it for a second. And then it was gone. So, what was the topic? Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Cut, cut, kitty, cut. I am slicing a walnut. I am rhyming because I can. Yeah. <laughs> and next to me is sitting my fiance. Yeah. My one, number one fan. Yeah. We have a cat that is a red. Yes. <laughs> Something that just came to my mind is like, as as you can see, I have weighed up the the nuts, a mixture between walnut and almonds, and even though I've mixed them, I'm right now just cutting the walnuts, and I will go and continue to cut all the walnuts until they are done before I start with the almonds because I cannot. I just cannot mix them. I just can't mix it up. I have to do them one by one. Um, which is something that I think comes has something to do with uh, our um, autism. It's just like. It's not just like cutting things in that way, but also like when we make, when we have food, like for example, any kind of Does this outlaw of English? I don't know what it's called. Casserole. Casserole? Yeah. Okay. Any kind of casserole, like, or like, for example, like las lasagna. <laughs> Any kind of lasagna, like, that's something like a, like a dish that you kind of like eat together. Or any kind of like soup or so. We never eat that together. We just can. Like for example, with the lasagna, uh, lasagna, we um, have to like um, unfold every single piece, every layer. We eat every layer uh, separately. First, we eat like the sauce. Then we eat. Uh, the noodle dough thing, like the uh, different layers, and then we eat the part on the top, which is like baked over with like cheese or uh, something like that. Then we have like vegetable soup. Each vegetable has to be eaten differently and in a certain order because we cannot mix up this order because we never eat it like that. So. That's a no-no, cannot do that. Um, so, um, what else, what else, what else? Um, and, 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 and. So we, like our fiance and I, or me, we tend to uh, 
when she comes over each weekend. She uh, we usually uh, make ramen together, like self self made ramen, um, which we always have to eat. Uh, like we like to do chicken or turkey, not really turkey, um, but puta. Definitely know what that's called in English. Um, so then we have to eat the meat first. Then we can eat the noodles, and then we can drink the sauce, or like the broth. No, not the sauce, like the broth. Um, so, <laughs> um, that's one thing. If we eat the toast, we first have to eat like the uh, the border of the crust of the toast, and not the toast itself. If we eat uh, buns, I think they're called buns. I always forget what a brötchen is in English. I think it's a bun. Um, we first have to eat the top half, then the bottom one, bottom one. And on the top half, there's usually like a baking rake in the middle. We have to like pull it apart so. Weird eating things. What is fish stick in English? Fish stick? <laughs> <laughs> fish finger? I don't know. I don't know, but, but it's also, like. You also pick apart that one. Yeah. Um, like fish stick, I'm not sure if they are like fish sticks or fish fingers. It's like, yeah, but like it's fish on the inside and then it's like a crust. On the outside. Okay, so fish finger or fish stick, depending from where you are from. Um, but like normal people, like eat them together, or we get at least eat it at once. We have to firstly separate the crust from the actual fish part, and th that we have to do with every single thing, like every single fish finger or fish stick that we have. These ones. Yeah, these ones. Yes. Um, so we have to pick apart every single one. We have to separate the crust from the fish part. Do that with every single one that we have on our plate. Then we can eat the fish part. And lastly, we can eat the crust. And that's how we eat. <laughs> yes. um, like, it's not hurtful in any way. It's not extremely limiting in what we do because it's just like a different way of eating. It doesn't hurt anyone. Some people just like look at it weird and are like, why? <laughs> like you have to eat it together. It's like it tastes better than I'm just like, nah, nah, ah, ah, can't eat it together. That's not how it goes. You have to eat it separately. Um, <laughs> or, or if you have like filled, uh, filled anything. Filled bell pepper, filled uh, mushroom. We always have to eat the filling first before we can eat the outside. Um, like if it's a mushroom, if it's a filled bell pepper, we have to eat the bell pepper first before we can eat the filling. It also depends on the things. So, something that just came to my mind is. Uh, He's a rat. He's a rat cat. <laughs> I know. We want to be on top of the kitchen.
This is the thing in the oven. The camera died, it just went to sleep and then it did a die. So I put it into the oven now. And you can see the hand of our of a fiance. <laughs> Sorry. So the granola is finished as you can see. Um it looks very yummy. It also um tastes quite nice. Um what we did not do is uh they said to put in chopped chocolate and uh, some dried cranberries, which chocolate we did not really have, but it's also not something that we need in it. I think it's quite tasty like this as it is um and cried cried dried cranberries we're not like as big of, of a like fruit cereal person um and cranberries i don't know i'm not really sure if i like them or not like i don't love them i don't hate them they're just there and um we don't have them here uh at home and i don't really need them too so that's a little portion that we like gonna eat for uh, lunch, even though it's already almost 4 p.m. And we put it into a my muesli container, mainly because this one was empty and it is used to store cereal. So 